Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you're here today. Today is my last update before the finale in the A Little Goes a Long Way perfume project pan. This was created by Reed's Beauty Trip, Brandy Kirby, and myself years ago. And this is where we work on our perfumes that are 15 mils or less or any size fragrance mist body sprays. This is where we have the opportunity to work on those little vials of perfumes that kind of grow on us without us realizing we it's growing, as well as body sprays. I know my body sprays have propagated quite a bit, you know, and I don't I don't know why, but they are. With a little goes a long way, we pick our own working product number that we want to use throughout the project. You can raise that number, but you cannot decrease it, so you have to kind of pick it carefully, because trust me, it, it gets wild and crazy if you raise it and you're not quite ready for it. Just some sage advice from an old lady who learned the hard way. My working product number was four when I started this. It went up to five last month because I accidentally had an extra, so I kept it at five. And let's talk about the perfumes that I finished in the last month. I did finish seven of them. So is that equal to what I, it's Last The month before I finished six, the month prior to that, I finished a ton. <laughs> I finished, it looks like, 25. So that first month was really good, but the last two months, I haven't worn a lot of perfume for some reason. It just, I love perfume. I think perfume is beautiful, but I just haven't been wearing it, so... I'm not surprised that the number is a little lower. So let's talk about the perfumes I did finish. I have them on my phone here. Hopefully I won't need to use it, but I might. So I finished my Gucci Bloom. Is it Natori, Natari de Fior? something like that. I received a sample of it from Sephora. I really like this. It is very floral, but not as brusque as Gucci Bloom. It's a little softer, a little easier to wear. And that says a lot considering I have a hundred mil bottle of Gucci Bloom. So yes, this is a nice fragrance. I wouldn't buy it only because I have so much perfume, but it's one that I would enjoy getting samples of again. I have Layla Lou by Rosie Jane. I love this fragrance. This is like my third sample, and I really want this perfume, but I just haven't picked it up. Very gentle, soft, floral. Very pretty. Very pretty. Reminds me of a teenage girl on, you know, in the summer, just kind of being a kid, having fun, enjoying life. That's what it reminds me of. So this is Jo Malone's Fig and Lotus Flower. I do not like this. I thought I would love it because I love fig, but this just has something in it that really bites hard, that I'm not a fan of. I mean, it's not like, it's not like a really, um, like dill. It's not a really brusque, herbaceous note that really gets me. There's just something in there that has some claws that just make it unkind on on me anyways so I'm not a fan of this I am glad I got a sample of it however to try it out but yeah not a fan 
I had this bottle of Coach. I do have a 100 ml bottle of Coach, but this was a roller ball that I had and decanted when I brought it in. It was right there. I like Coach, obviously, since I have a large bottle of it. I have all the flankers except for the newest one, and I really want to try it. But Coach is a very nice floral. It is definitely, I would say, I would say an older woman would like this more than a younger woman. Um, it's just a very heavy floral, but it's a pretty floral. I wasn't sure I was going to finish this because I'm in love with this perfume. I want a full-size bottle of Jason Wu, and when I brought it in, it was right there. It went down to there at last update because I was savoring this, and it took me the whole month to use this up. I'm wearing it right now. I love this scent. Very soft floral, very delicate, um, a little powdery, but just a really gentle, youthful floral. So I really like Jason Wu. This next one I really liked as well. I got it from Ipsy and that's Catherine Malandrino's Dream. This is gorgeous. It is a little bit of a fruity floral in there. It comes out really sweet, almost candy-like, and then it turns into a really beautiful fruity floral um, perfume. Just a really nice scent. I was really surprised how much I liked Dream because I've had her before. I've had other perfumes by her that I was not impressed with, but this one I really, really enjoyed. And then this last one, what was it? The print has come off. This was Versace's Bright Crystal. I had a whole bunch of sample size Bright Crystals, and so I dumped them all into here. And I used this up. I, if I marked it, the line came off. I like Bright Crystal. It's I like Bright Crystal Absolute more just because it's a little, um, has more depth to it, I guess, a little more staying power. But Bright Crystal is such a pretty scent. Fun, fun, fruity, but it's got a floral twist in there that's just really pretty. I think it's perfect for the youth and for older individuals just a gorgeous scent so those are the seven that i finished let's talk about the ones i'm working on for the next month and i am hoping this will be done by next month that is my ulta beauty crisp apple body mist when i brought it in it was right there last update it was no when i brought it in it was right there first update i had used Quite a bit about a quarter of it last month I was right there and I didn't think I was going to be able to finish this but this month I got it to here so I have a little under a quarter left to finish so if I really concentrate on this I think I might be able to get it done I don't know though I'm gonna try but yeah I really like this so if I finish it excellent. If I don't, that's okay too, because I'm really enjoying having apples in my life for, for the first time in years. Okay, I have my little jar here that has my other ones. I have C. Passion by Giorgio Armani. This is um, samples that I decanted into here, so not a whole lot, but I think it's like three samples maybe four so i i'm starting off right there i like c passion so this won't be hard to use the next one is guerlain's mon guerlain i got this through 
scent bird and it's getting um, fairly old because I haven't had scent bird in a while. So I am starting off right there. So a little under half left to go. I do like Mongerlon. I would love to own a full-size bottle of it. That's probably why I still have this because I'm just savoring it and wearing it on those special occasions, but I do need to use it. I have Dior's Miss Dior, just a sample size. Don't know how much is in there. Don't even remember if I've used it. And then the last one I had at last update, and that is Mew Mew's Twist. At last update, I was right there. Now I am about right there. I like Mew Mew's Twist, so I wore it just a few times because I like it. I'm savoring it. I will definitely have it done by the end of this project, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Mew Mew's Twist. So that is it for my A Little Goes A Long Way perfume project pan. If you like perfume projects, keep in mind that we will be starting the Big Bottle Showdown in January, and that is where we work on our full-size bottles, anything that is 30 mils or above, or any size fragrance mist body sprays. If you would like to join us in that project, just leave a comment on any one of our videos or Instagram posts and we will get you on the list and get all the information out to you for that project because it is a lot of fun. I like perfume projects just because I love perfume and it helps me work through my perfumes instead of just kind of savoring them until it's too late. So yes. That is why I am involved in perfume projects back to back to back to back to back. Make sure you go check out the others who are doing this. We have individuals here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So go, go see how they're progressing in this project. Give them some love and make sure that you cheer them on. The links for all of them are down below so you can go check them out. Please take good care of yourself, be safe, be smart, and I will talk to you on the next one. Bye.